Hey guys, Majungasaurus Productions here with a new review video. Now today's video is going to be rather unique as we have a special guest today, the Prehistoric Channel. So for now, I'll leave it to him. To begin with color scheme application, I have to say Safari did an incredibly appealing job with this model. We have some wonderful black and red patterning on the head and neck, which looks fantastic and decently applied. For the main body, there's a lovely shade of brown for the secondary and an interesting black for the primary. On the tail, we once again see that nice shade of red, which looks great with the other colors. For the claws and toenails, we have an even darker shade of black, but while it's decently applied, I'm honestly not a fan of the texture, as it looks too slick and oily for this part of the anatomy. as well has some issues as the teeth are terribly applied and the entirety of the inner mouth is completely unpainted. The eyes are somewhat better but not by much as the paint application makes them look almost like empty sockets. Overall, while there are some issues with paint application in specific areas, the well-picked and very naturalistic color scheme more than makes up for any problems at hand. As for sculpt and detail, this figure is no longer near safari standards of impressive, but the model is still very good, for the most part. We have adequate feathering on the top half, and the stomach is good, as it looks very leathery and scaly. But the lack of detail beneath the feet is a bit disappointing. There's fair detailation on the arms and legs, although these areas could have been slightly improved on as they look a bit blank. The tail fan is okay, as it doesn't look like any modern type of feathering which is accurate, but it still could have been better. The head and neck sculpt though are really good in my opinion, as the neck looks very stiff and lifelike, and the head has many fine details that extend all the way into the back of the jaw. The only issue I have with this area is that the fact that the teeth are duller than needed, and they could have been much sharper and better sculpted. For scientific accuracy, there are three problems with this figure. The first one being the hand. The position they're in would have broken the wrists of a living guanlong, as they were pronated to the sides, much like the hands or wings of dromaeosaurs. The second issue is the lack of underfeather. It's highly unlikely that most feathered dinosaurs were only feathered on their top sides. However, this is subject to debate with certain species. The third problem are the eyes, as they shouldn't have been set that deep into the skull. As for the rest of the figure, it still remains a good safari replica, even with its inaccuracies, which makes it every bit worth getting. With that, I give the reins back to you, Majunga. Thank you, Prehistoric Channel. Now back to size comparisons.
So for size comparisons, I have the Safari Taco or Satakosaurus. Keep knocking that one over. You can see it's almost as big as the Guan Long, and they size up rather nicely. But yeah, that's gonna do it with, with this review, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.